Well, good afternoon, church. Please turn with me to Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. Come on, Sia. Go, Sia. My name is Sia, and it is at this time of the service where we have communion to remember Jesus dying on the cross for us. For communion, we will pass around the bread representing Jesus' body and the wine representing Jesus' blood. And usually at this time, we have a member of the church come up and share what the cross means to them at this point of their life. And I've been given that privilege today. Now let's read together from Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. And it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Now, at this point of my life, to me, the cross is a three-step process. Sorrow, pain, and glory. Now, the first two go hand in hand, but the third may throw you off. We'll get to that gradually. So, the first part, sorrow. If you are here today with some prosperity gospel nonsense, get that rubbish out of your head. (laughs) Everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Either by the outside world, sometimes by the inside world, or even in some weird cases like myself, by their very own heart and thoughts. Carrying the cross is a heavy burden on my emotions. Saying no to nearly every time my parents want to go somewhere because I'm doing something with church hurts. Mm -hmm. Having my bank account be in the negative for three weeks straight because I give literally everything I have and more to contribution hurts. Mm -hmm. Losing friends that I once considered family and watching them regard me as a member of a cult hurts. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it's not easy. Now, second part pain, wherever of course there's emotional pain, there's physical pain too. Mm You know, the pain in my legs when I hit a heavy leg day and have to run because I'm late for discussion. (laughs) That hurts. The tiredness from lack of sleep because of tired schedules and still having to continue denying myself to fish for people. That hurts. The pain of sometimes starving the entire day, not eating at all because I'm so caught up with being outside, being out there sharing, being out there in studies, and I can't even get food from outside because I'm saving up for contribution. That hurts. And I'll tell you, it is not easy. Sia, are you an idiot? Get out of there. What are you doing with your life? You're giving all your time and your money to the church. Why? Stop torturing yourself and go somewhere else. Do you not love yourself? And, you know, that's the kind of stuff I get for doing what I do. Which makes sense, but there's something that keeps me going. There's something that makes me keep carrying that cross. Which is the third part. The glory. Come on. Seeing people's lives change and them going from intro- introverts to little radiant beacons like Keen. <laughs> that feels. Seeing empty guys like Dante find purpose, joy, and meaning. That heals. <laughs> Watching boys like Hyde turn into men that lift up those around them, that heals. Being freed from a boring life of purposelessness, being given a vision, and becoming actually able to turn my dream self into a goal that I'm working on day by day, that heals. With how much healing there is in those things, no pain is enough to make me drop that cross for good. And I know Jesus saw that too. No matter how much those lashes hurt on that day, no matter how many times he came close to death, no matter how much it hurt having his inner circle sell him out, his best friend deny him, his mother crying her eyes out while he died, no matter how much hanging on that cross and bleeding out hurt, he knew something. In that moment, he saw a boy who cried in his room in his lowest moments, He saw that day when that boy tried to steal a rope and stool from his church in Malaysia. That day when he tried to light himself on fire and burn down his house. That day he just prayed hard for a gun to appear in his hand so he could end it all that spot. Jesus kept going because he knew without without Jesus, that boy wouldn't be the man he is today. And because Jesus kept going, now that boy has grown up 
He lived through it and he is standing up on stage now speaking to you. And I'll tell you, Jesus going through that cross was not easy. But because he kept going, so will I. No matter the pain, no matter the sorrow, and because I see the glory. And I want to invite you guys today to walk with me on that journey. To carry your crosses by my side. And to never let go because Christ did it. Let's all go to God in the word of prayer.